my name is Henny. I'm looking forward to this video. Hey guys, can you guess where I'm at? It's pretty obvious. Let's flip around a little bit here. Not too far from where I live. A little high school close by, but my daughter is playing ultimate frisbee right over there somewhere. I was just over there, but I snuck away, don't tell anyone, to start recording this video because I love doing the vlog. I love doing, uh, sharing different things that are helpful for me. If you find it helpful, then I wanna share it as much as possible. So if you have any ideas, just let me know. But today I wanna cover a little bit more of a big thing that really hits home with me is people always wanna get into shape. They always wanna do this, this, and that, but they don't always wanna do the work or they don't really know how to do it. So in this episode, I wanna talk a little bit more about how to get fit remaining fit as a lifestyle, not depriving yourself. And I'm just gonna throw out all the things you probably already know is you know nutrition, exercise program, accountability groups, but what we are missing is the intangibles. That's what I wanna to cover today as I'm touring around Minneapolis watching some Ultimate Frisbee. Let's go. tips are assuming you're doing all the right things, I'm quoting that, all the right things, you're following the typical fitness plan uh, you're, that works for you, and you're following nutrition plans, you, you've kind of tracked, you've found a foundation of food that works for you calorie-wise, fat, um, protein, and you know, the whole thing. You're, so this is assuming you're doing all that and you're frustrated, you're not getting anywhere, you're feeling like you're plateauing, you're not making any progress, you're starting to beat yourself up in some way, start here. Simplify, 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 and simplify. Take all the intangibles such as sleep and your stress level and those sort of things that a lot of people aren't really talking about, especially the stress level, and make sure you do a little self-audit. How's your sleep? How's your stress? How can you reduce that? Because think of your body as it's not going to really know what to do if you're stressed out but you're following all the right things. It's going to hold on to that fat. It's not gonna really build the muscle the right way. This is all what works for me. And some of this stuff is really pie in the sky, fancy stuff sometimes that people think, but it works. The intangibles are the missing link, in my opinion, the secret sauce. Start small every single day and build that little momentum. If you overwhelm yourself and you overdo it, you're just going to stop doing it. You have to incorporate it into your daily routine, your daily lifestyle. Tip number two is not to overthink it. So many people are getting so caught up in the calories and the spreadsheets and all that, all the detail and they're stressed out about when they should work out, if they miss a workout because they have a sniffle, all these sort of things and then everything starts to derail from there. But last time I checked, this is a lifestyle thing, not a short-term diet or whatever we wanna call it. So don't get me started on that. Don't overcomplicate it simplify it back to square one and step number one as well simplify don't overthink it and just go with it day by day a st small little step every single day made it over to the lake area here by minneapolis downtown's over there Calhoun is over here, Harriet, Lake of the Isles. This is a part of that I really love about the city is that it's really close to me and there's all kinds of energy over here. So we're gonna walk over to, um, kind of loud too, to the uptown main area where a lot of the restaurants are and shops. And we're gonna have step number three. The 
third tip is you have to stop beating yourself up. How many times are you speaking to yourself in such a negative language? Oh, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I ate that. And then you just beat yourself up and the routine just constantly starts over and over and over again and you never really seem to get on track. Have you done that? I'm so stupid. I can't believe I ate that. I'm so fat. I'm such a dummy. This will never work. I'm never going to be able to get in shape. It's going to fall off the wagon again. So why do I even start? And things like, I'm never going to be able to fit in those skinny jeans. I'm just not skinny. That's for other people. Blah, blah, blah. Guess what? If you talk to yourself negatively like that, guess what happens? you will be given more of the same. Your body's gonna hold on to the fat, you're not gonna be able to build the muscle, blah, blah, blah. Which leads me to the last tip, tip number four. You have to have fun with it because this is the long game. If you don't enjoy it, you don't have fun with this process, it's just not gonna continue. You're not going to do it. It's gonna become more of a short-term thing. Um, just to lose the 10 pounds, get on the beach or whatever it is. But if you want long-term success, remember this is really the tips for taking it long-term because everyone kind of can lose weight a little bit here or there if they follow the nutrition plans and that sort of thing. But what happens is they fall off quickly or they can't maintain that. And really, this is the secret sauce right in there. Get that right. That's kind of a bonus. Everything else falls into place, but you have to have fun with it. If it's a group setting, a group workout, do that. If it's uh, getting out of the house and you're trying to work out at home, be true to yourself. You know it's just not gonna work, then, then don't fight it. Find what you really like to do that you're going to consistently stay at. Do that. Well, that was a lot of fun. I even got to meet some people that I didn't really expect to, but make sure to subscribe for more videos on this channel. I have all kinds of stuff coming. Fitness, mindset is really where my focus is. But I also like to do a lot of lifestyle vlog kind of things and uh, I have two daughters and I talk a lot about them and all kinds of stuff in between and traveling, the whole thing. So subscribe if you want to see more of that or if you have any ideas, make sure to comment below and feel free to send me a message as well. I'll talk to you in the next video.